siesta time. No, any impression that it was down Mexico way was quickly dispelled by the 41 competitors in the 20 kilometers walking race. Elbows pumping, hips gyrating, the heel and toe experts of the world set a scorching pace around the track prior to heading out of the stadium and into the country. Ahead of the walkers was a tough battle where the altitude taxed stamina to the maximum. Left behind were the flyers of the Olympics, like Romania's Visco Poliano. She cleared 22 feet, four and a half inches, to win the gold and shatter the world and Olympic records. But Britain too was in the market for precious metal. Sheila Sherwood earned every gram of her silver medal with a tremendous leap of 21 feet 11. Now for the fastest men in athletics, the 100 meters dash, high ranking as one of the elite events in the games and certainly one of the most exciting. Jim Hines of the United States street home in 9.9 .9 seconds. Second, Miller of Jamaica. Third, Green of America, both in 10 seconds dead. Look again, this time in slow motion, at Jim Hines' world-beating style as he powered his way through to the tape. A great race. But now watch the performance of Britain's golden boy, David Hemery, in the 400 metres hurdles. Hemery streaked away from the gun at a terrific rate. On his outside, fellow Britain John Sherwood. Between them, America's Whitney. A cracking pace was set by the British boys. Emery was running flat out. Nobody in the world could catch him. Four yards clear and almost a full second ahead of the world record, Emery the Great broke the tape with Sherwood in the bronze medal position. An incredible time, a 48.1 put Hemery in a class of his own and Britain in the gold.